Hello, and welcome to the Decision Composer Getting Started tutorial for Greetings. In the next five minutes, you will learn to understand the basics of decision modeling, then model and execute your own first decision, and then update the rules you wrote to see immediate results. This tutorial is meant to be completed interactively. Pause at any time or wait for the pause icon to appear in the upper right to know when would be a good time to stop and try it yourself. When you start using the greeting sample, note the IBM B in the bottom right corner. Click it for a tour and tips in case you get lost or have questions. Based on the industry standard DMN or decision model and notation, the decision evaluates from bottom to top, starting with green data input nodes representing the data upon which our decision is made, such as name or hour of the day. If you prefer a different orientation, it can be flipped using the icon at the top of the editor next to the model state indicator. Input data connects with blue decision nodes, which include the business rules that make our decision run. The main decision at the top, salutation, outputs a specified string of text based on the user's input data. Each decision node under that, such as greeting, includes a set of rules at the bottom left. We will come back to that later. Custom types group multiple data inputs in a single object and can be easily modeled by the business in low-code editors. We don't have any of these in this simple sample. Finally, validation uses a simple form. Let's fill in 10 a.m., mail, and Jones, and our decision is good morning, Mr. Jones. If we change the hour to 4 a.m., still in the middle of the night, the rules will return a different result. This time, good night, Mr. Jones. Now might be a good time to pause and try this out on your own. Let's update a rule in the greeting sub-decision by scrolling down on the left and clicking to open the decision table. Our first validation, 10 a.m., would correspond to the second row. And our second validation, 4 a.m., would correspond to the first row. We double-click on good night and change it to you're up too late. Validating again proves how easy it is to update a business rule in Decision Composer. Next, our scenario is to override the greeting sub-decision we just updated with a new custom output only for people named Jones. This requires a new decision node. Back in the model, we hover over the line between the top salutation decision and the greeting sub-decision, click the plus sign, and add a decision node. Let's rename that and add a description. Then we set the output type to a string, the same as the greeting sub-decision. Now, since our override decision is based on the name Jones as well, we mouse over the name input data, locate the plus sign at the bottom, and then click, hold, and drag to release over the new final greeting decision to connect the two. Now, final greeting depends on the name and the original greeting decision. We are ready to create our rule within final greeting, scrolling to the bottom of the left-hand side and clicking on Add Rule to create a new text rule. We select both greeting and name so that we can easily condition on both values in our new rule. Then, following the generated template, we fill in the appropriate values. You are up too late for the greeting, Jones for the name, and then set the decision to the existing greeting plus some new words added to the end. This is the Jones override rule. If Jones is not the name, we need a default value for our decision. So at the bottom left, we click set output default, and then use the greeting, which will pass the original greeting through to the final salutation decision. Last, we update the main salutation decision to make use of the new final greeting override by selecting and opening the salutation rule, locating the error the decision composer finds for us, and updating the value to final greeting. Now that our new node is set up and our rules are updated, let's see how this affects our output by running the same validation with Jones to trigger the override. We see the output we expect with the added phrase. However, if we use any other name as input, the override will not be triggered. Success! Our updates worked. Now that you've seen how to model, validate, update, and add new nodes to a decision, it's time to try it yourself in your own greeting sample if you've not done so already. If you're still new to decision modeling and you want to see how Decision Composer can be applied to your business, check out our industry samples by clicking Home in the upper left and then navigate to the Samples page. Once you feel confident with the greeting sample, check out our next video where we create a decision from scratch and execute it within a mobile app. Thank you for checking out IBM Decision Composer at decision-composer.ibm.com.